In this video, we will show you how to add site-to-site -site connectivity for disaster recovery. First, we will go to the Disaster Recovery tab and you will see a few options, point-to-point, -point, cloud only, and site-to-site. -site. So we will select site-to-site -site VPN connection and click the Deploy button. This will take a couple of seconds while we deploy the VPN gateway and the VPN gateway connectivity and configure. Now we are able to download and deploy the VPN appliance. When you click on the download and deploy button, you will get a few options here, VMware or Hyper-V, as well as the instructions. In this video, we will utilize Hyper-V. When you click on Hyper-V, you will see that it is downloading a Hyper-V virtual appliance that you will be able to install and run. So while this is downloading, for this video, I have taken the liberty of going into the VPN appliance and running it from there. After installing the VPN appliance, make sure you are enabling the networking facilities for it. Once completed, you will be able to start your VPN appliance by clicking the Start button. The appliance will ask you to log in. The default username and password is admin. Make sure you go to networking and make sure you have added all the networks you desire to use. Once you have completed this, you will be able to register your VPN. Under your username and password, you will enter your credentials. Once completed, you confirm and execute and done. When returning to the console, you will see that your VPN appliance has been applied and you are online and your cloud site is online. After waiting a few seconds, you also see that your point to point has now been added from the network from the VPN gateway to the VPN appliance.